before I uh, answer this question, I wanted to give you a landscape of uh, the background of everything, starting from myself. I came uh, to the America uh, to America in 1988. I was uh, uh, I was born in a very small city of 10 million people in uh, Shandong Province, and a lot of people don't know Shandong Province is where Confucius is from. So uh, I was very lucky after uh, medical school, graduate school in Beijing. I came to Bethesda, Maryland, and I studied in National Institute of Health and a very prestigious scholarship called the Fogarty International uh, Award Scholarship. And uh, I, I, I'm very, very indebted in the two countries. The first one, the, the country where I was born, I studied and uh, all the tuition was paid. And then the, uh, the, this land of uh, freedom and opportunity gave me that opportunity for, for a small boy like me from the middle of nowhere to study in such a prestigious institution in NIH. I worked in the lab very, very hard for six years. I learned so much. So uh, I feel, in my life, I feel very, very grateful to both, and I want to give back. I want to save as many patients as possible. I, d I wanted to save American patients, the Western patients, and all patients around the globe, and the science, only science can do that. So, uh, you know, when I was in college, even when I was studied uh, in the, in the uh, NIH, in the laboratories, I, n I never knew what is called metastatic lymphoma. I never knew I would become a lymphoma doctor and the metastatic lymphoma doctor. So, uh, I, so, you know, life just takes you where uh, it is. But if this is the opportunity, I think I, I'm trying to work with all my team and other people, respect the colleagues in the colleague in, in the field so that together we can make a dramatic impact for our patients and their families. So the BDK inhibitors belongs to a category called the targeted therapies. Before targeted therapies, we treat patients with chemotherapies. Chemotherapies are very toxic. They get rid of the hair, blood counts goes low, infection rate, and the suffering. And uh, so actually, you know, 20 years ago, when I was in the fellowship program, I would come to the clinic, I see suffering, uh, you know, uh, death and all the time is dramatically changed. Not only because now we have the therapy for mantle cell lymphoma, for lymphoma, even for the whole hematologic disease malignancies has migrated from chemotherapy to targeted therapies and then cell therapies and in the future to precision therapies. Now, we are, when we are talking about uh, first generation ibrutinib, second generation acalabrutinib, the newly approved as a new brutinib, they belong to a class called the targeted therapies. What we also call them chemo-free therapies. Okay, so now chemotherapy, chemo-free therapy cannot cure all the p p patients. Then we use cell therapies. Cell therapy with all the chemo, chemo-free cell therapy cannot cure the disease. We're looking future precision medicine. So, so the field is moving so fast. Many things are happening all together. It has never been a good time to be an academic hematologist, oncologist. For mantle cell lymphoma, it's one of the fast-moving areas, and it's never, never a good time to have mantle cell lymphoma is the best time, because pe most of the patients could live for many years. And I really think in my career time, we, with the help of the whole field, together we can cure a fraction of mantle cell lymphoma patients.